somewhere over the rainbow. It's one of Dr. Nathalie Johnson's favorite songs. It's amazing. One day I'll wish upon a star. And when you hear her story, clouds are far behind. My goodness. You'll see it fits her prescription for life. Why, oh, why can't I? <laughs> it's a philosophy she shares with her husband, William. I love you, sweetie. Love you too. Who's also a doctor. An elixir that heals. <laughs> what was your win today? Even when life gives us the unexpected. It's the little things that just make your day. You won't you find this remedy in any medical text. That's okay. It's a devotion to a life of love Hi. and gratitude. Good to see you. That's lifted her to the top of her field yeah. as the medical director for Legacy's okay, Breast Health awesome. Center in right. Portland. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna give you a big hug and then. To being recognized as one of the Northwest top surgeons year after year. Well, okay. She shares it with her patients. Yep. Good. <laughs> as they face oh, breast cancer. Okay. As they go into surgery, her patients know they're in good hands. A bilateral nipple sparing mastectomy. <laughs> hands that hold more than instruments of surgery. Okay. They touch lives. Yeah. But there's something operating here you can't see. Yeah. Oh, holy night. She prays with them, sings with them. Are brightly shining. Mommy Found a Lump by Dr. Johnson. Nathalie is also a published mm -hmm. author. You want to see this story? My mom said she found a lump in her breast. Adding her healing tonic to a storybook. I was going to talk with my dad, but... Helping Courtney Hans explain to her three-year-old son, afraid. Duncan, and five-year-old daughter, cried. Gabriella, she something that she was so scared. hard to understand. The doctor told her she had breast cancer and she would be getting medicine and surgery to make her better. Nathalie yeah. has given the book to hundreds of patients therapy. as That's a gift. Medicine. Her hair did fall out. My dad shaved off all his hair, too. He looked pretty funny. A little bit shorter than usual. But Mom looked beautiful. <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> Mommy found a lump. It's a story she wrote with her entire family. The doctor told her she had breast cancer. I told her that I was afraid. That no matter how many things daddy had to do. Nathalie wrote the storyline. My name is Juliana. I love my mom and I really Daughter Noelani added her ideas. Their adult son chose the illustrator. Really and husband and William did, did the out. editing. My dad shaved all of his hair off too. Yeah. Then the story she wrote became her own. Today, for the very first time, I'm going to share with you my own journey. And she chooses a Portland church congregation. What I wanted to talk today about to share for the very first time publicly that she, a breast cancer surgeon, is battling breast cancer. It's still a small tumor, it's aggressive. I'm gonna need to have chemotherapy, I accept that. As they worship in pink, raising awareness about breast cancer, she tells them about a journey she now walks with her patients like she never has before. And I say, Lord, I give myself, I give myself to you. At first I thought, why Nathalie? So you can use me. And then I thought, but then why not? And I sing that all the time. What an incredible story that she could share. You just never expect to flunk your mammogram. She <laughs> go through chemotherapy, hair loss, William shaving his head too. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hug. And Hello. fear. Yeah. She'd worry she'd lose the feeling in her hands, a potential side effect of chemo. And as a surgeon, that would be devastating. Her daughter, yeah. Noe, turned to the oh, book she me. helped write. That just made me feel more comforted because I knew that I helped my mom write it, so I knew that um, everything would be fine. And when Nathalie had a bilateral mastectomy, what she's given in life came back in abundance. It's so special 
to have everyone sing to me as I drifted off to sleep. It's been a, a journey. The journey well, strengthened her in ways time. she didn't expect. I love you. I love you too, baby. We hold each other more. We reflect on the day, and, and every day we come home and say, what happened great? Because you want to be more positive in life. From her family to her patients, it's instilled a deeper personal connection. Well, I'm going to give you guys a big hug. I understand what you're going through. Okay, yeah. Yeah, thank you. You're joining thank you so much. in a sisterhood. She'll be doing Courtney's um, breast surgery well, in March. Yeah, a little bit. With the skills of an accomplished surgeon. Okay, so we'll see you soon. And a faith that transforms. Yeah. <laughs> that with teamwork and love, the most healing medicine of all. I love my family. Laurel Porter. Can we love you? KGW <laughs> News Channel 8. Why, oh, why can't I?